Not that he's a monster. It just doesn't let you practice any of the stages. At least with the fucking Demon of Hatred, you can practice the stages, right? Because he's right there. You just... You can do it. You can practice every stage. But you have to deal with his first phase, which is completely a throwaway phase. You don't have to worry about it at all. Just fucking go in and you'll kill him. That's all you can do. <laughs> and then all his other phases start up, but... At that point, you're not really thinking about those phases. You're already focused on the first. It's like, well, now I'm iced over. That's why I hate multi-phase. It ices you out. I mean though it's just kind of like a complete whatever phase it's just there to cool you down so that you're not as prepared for this phase it's like you have to learn it every time you get here Not guaranteed in this place. Yeah, I, I had no control. The frames dropped. That's why I'm not having any control. The frames dropped. I stealth! Oh no! That interrupts. Nice! Nice!
it cheesed it out with the monk moves! Oh! Man, don't fucking talk to me! None of you fucking talk to me! I beat Sekiro and you didn't! Don't talk to me! Don't talk to me! I still fucking swung when the red thing was there! I hate this game! I hate this game. It still made a normal swing. Nothing else had to happen. In this game, one thing had to happen. The red bot was there. I pressed the attack button. Guess what happens? Not the red thing. Not the fucking red thing. Don't talk to me ever again. None of you have beaten Sekiro. I've beaten Sekiro, and that puts me in an elite category that none of you guys can even look at. Don't even sniff around my category. I don't want you to even peep it around my category. I am so happy that I managed to cheese that out. You have no idea how happy I was that I cheesed the shit out of that. You have no clue. That was really, that was really what I wanted. The most thing, the biggest thing that I wanted the whole time was to cheese out this win with the monk moves. I, with the fucking kicks and everything. I heavily, I so heavily wanted it. What's up, Brandon? Fucking, oh. Oh, I wanted it so bad. I could taste it. It was on the tip of my tongue. You know, these games are trash. They're garbage. I hate this stuff. I even start... I'm starting to hate Dark Souls now. I'm starting to hate Dark Souls because of this fucking game. But this game in particular, I hate it. I actually dislike this game. I understand that a lot of you are fans. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I think it had a cool idea. The parry is cool, the posture is cool, but literally everything else about the game sucks. There is no finer a point, there is no better way to end this than when I just now tried to execute this guy that had a red dot and I swung my sword. I can't, I cannot, I can not put a better, a, a better bullet point. There is no better way to pin this game than to just... At the very, the absolute final attack, red dot shows up, I press attack, and it doesn't do the red dot animation. It swings normally. That's all that needs to be said. Like, if you want to know what I feel about this game, how I feel, look at that one moment. Go to that one moment where I press attack that's supposed to trigger the animation, and it just swings the sword. And that will explain to you why I have such an issue with this game. Because that is everywhere in this game. You don't get to jump, you don't get to attack, you don't get to dodge. All these things that you want to do at a very crucial moment just disappear for various reasons. I don't know the reasons on all of them, but I know that that's my experience with this game. I'm going to look back and I'm going to think about all these, what feel like dropped inputs. That's what it feels like. This feels like dropped inputs. I can't explain any of it. I don't know why it happens. I don't. I just don't know why it happens. But it happens, and it completely takes me out of the game. I thought the parry system was cool. I thought all the... Actually, that's about it. I really thought the parry system was cool. There's not really much else I think is cool about this game. <laughs> but you know what? It really does put you, it really, it really encourages this, I'm joking about it the whole time, but it really does encourage, like, this elitist mindset, right? Like, I beat Sekiro and you didn't. That is such a strange thought. It's such a strange feeling. I'm not, I never felt that way with Dark Souls, and I never felt that way at the start of this game. I've never felt that way at any part of any game. I've never felt like it, you know, oh, this... You can't, you can't beat it. I've always felt like Dark Souls got a bad rep for being hard. And I feel like this one gets a bad rep for being hard. It's not hard. But the problem is, is that it's, it's different and it's weird. 
And then on top of that, you have these little things. Normally, I wouldn't focus on little things, but this little thing is creeping into one too many spaces, and it completely destroys it, which makes me feel like it's a game that's actually bad, when I know it's not a bad game. It just feels bad to me. <laughs> and so all this shit is piled on top of it, socially speaking, and it, it just it feels like Miyazaki is totally like, yeah, you're fucking elite. You're elite now. You beat Sekiro. Don't talk to anybody who hasn't beaten Sekiro. You know what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? It feels like it's a manufactured separation of casual players and professional players or whatever you call them. Hardcore players. I don't know. But it feels, it feels artificial to me. Because this game should be approachable by anybody. But then you get these little problems... And on top of it already being kind of a slog, you get these little problems that just creep in more times than I want them to. You know what I mean? If they were just a few times, it'd be something, but it pops in almost almost regularly. And it completely ruins the experience. It makes it even harder for somebody new to play this game. So, yeah. It really, like, I think he's fostering that kind of mentality with this sort of game. I don't know if he means to, but it sure feels like he did. <laughs> You didn't beat Sekiro? It's totally a baby's game. It totally is. It's completely a baby's game. But that's because all video games are baby games, you know? Everything is a baby game. What the hell is that? 